Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a couple of project shares here. I've been playing with Palmer clay. Um, so the first couple things I want to do is um, share the frames that I did using the tiles. I had shared this box, the boho trinket box, which I love, and I made a frame. But, I mean, it's good. But it's not what I had envisioned. And see, this is the thing. Um, I base it on my likes, my stop, like what what appeals to me. And for some reason, this little box, because it was so small, didn't overwhelm me with the sameness. But this does, meaning I used too many of the painted tiles. For me, I didn't add enough, um, I'll show you. So then I did the music one, and this is what appeals to me. I prefer um, the difference in materials I use, the height, the color. Um, so what I mean by that is I have painted tiles throughout. I did a few. <clears throat> of the painted tiles and I did them in black and red and gold. I did a few of the like metal findings throughout. I kind of placed them throughout. I also did these big silver ones, these big silver notes with the red clay. Um, and then I, I did white, the music notes in white throughout. But for me, the piece moves better. It just moves. I don't understand. I don't know why. But, you know, and then I have just a few black clay with, with the buttons embedded in them. Um, and then a very few of these um, black and white. I, I think I only have like three of them. There's one more on here. Can't find it. Um, one here. One, two, three. But, and then I filled it with um, some of the op opal, which I love that opal clay. My gosh, it's so pretty. It definitely has like opalescent flakes in it. It's so pretty. Um, and then also a lot of the bead chain. I use, not bead chain, but it's like bling chain, I call it. I had this really tiny red bling chain, the uh, Aurora Borealis bling chain, the tiny red, black, red, red, Aurora Borealis. So I filled in with a lot of that. Also, there's a big... Um, gem here. I don't know. For some reason, this just really appeals to me. And then I filled in some of the really other places with uh, micro beads. So this has a little bit of everything. Here goes my bird. She hears me talking. And so I'm going to touch this up a little bit. I have to touch it up and I'll probably put this in my Etsy store. But for this one, and I mean, like I said, I don't hate it. I have I don't have enough variety. That's what I feel it's missing. It's lacking. Um, yeah, I have a few painted tiles on here. So there's a couple pink and black. So we pink and black, pink and black. And then the rest are just really colorful, but they blend in too much with the painted tiles. These should be the focal, the focal point. So I should have a lot more... Um, like plain, I want to say, not plain, but anyway, it is what it is, and I, I mean, I do, I do like it, but I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, um, so this again, I mean, I have to touch it up, because it gets messy when I um, put it on my table, um, I used, and I'm, I regret it, because I had pink ball chain, and I used it up, I have pink ball chain as my filler on this one, um, so anyway, all right, those are my two frames I did. Then I told you that I had this wooden house. These are some of the wooden houses that I've done, and they could be considered wonky wooden houses. And I kind of got these I did based on the tutorial that I saw um, on Joggle's um, YouTube channel. Um, and I think she even sells the wood, but I, uh, Joe cut this for me. So these are the ones that I did, and this one was that, like Zentangled. This, these I just used paper or paint. 
I think I was using gelatos on these. I really did base it off of her tutorial. So if you want to do these, I can put a link for the uh, for her tutorial in the description box. But I had more houses left and I thought, well, let me try one in polymer clay. So this is my polymer clay one. And I mean, it's a lot different color wise, you know, I mean, it's definitely different. At first, it almost kind of looked Christmassy because Kiwi, stop it! She's just, I'll talk quiet. No, she can't. <laughs> because I did like a gold roof and a red um, brick. I don't know, it just looked really Christmassy. But then after I antiqued it, which I am struggling with the antiquing because I, I do like it. I know it, what it has to offer. But then when I do clay pieces like this that are just so clean and bright, you know, I don't antique this. This doesn't get antiqued. And you see the true color of the clay. Anywho, it's, it's you know, it is what it is. Like, so, but for this, I really wanted to put the, the antiquing to go in between the clay and for the brickwork. And then I come back and I, um, I add the mica powders and the, um, the Inca gold to everything. So it definitely brings it back. Although my white was so dull, I had to put silver on it because I don't have any um, white my, um, rubs or anything. So I put silver on there. I just put a little butterfly. These were these are wooden pieces that I got. I can't remember you guys because I have no brain. But that that was when I was doing my um, pieces with Mary. Mary, hold on. It was the art dolls. Chadbourne, Mary Jane Chadbourne. She had us order these for a class that I did. Um, it was the, my little house that holds my, um, I'll go get it, it's right here. This. <laughs> hey Matt, Hello. making a video babe. Okay. This one. This is, um, it holds ATC cards and this is a class that I took that was on, I, I want to say Artful Gatherings, but I'm not sure. I, I'll try to find the link for this too. But all these pieces, like this doorknob and this door, the, the windows, were um, accessories that I got at an online shop that she suggested. Um, and this is all collaged. Um, but I just had some. I had some left, so I put them on here. And they're wooden. Um, and I did put yellow clay behind them, and then I added um, glossy accents in the windows just to kind of make them shiny. And I mean, I don't love this. It, it could have been so much more. I don't think I was inspired that day, so I just kind of winged it. I put a little vine, some bushes, and I put bliss. Um, these are, I think, Prima, but they may not be. They may be um, any other accessory. I mean, I have tons of stuff, so I just pull what I have. Um, but I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, it, it fits in. I have it over there with the rest of my houses. Um, and I just baked it just like that on the wood. And um, yeah, I mean, like, eh, I don't know. I don't love it. All right, so then what else did I want to show you? Okay, so then I had my votives. And instead of doing more fairy houses. I wanted to try some of the techniques that I learned in Polymer Clay Adventure last year with um, Chris Capono's class. Chris did, um, do I have a piece right here? I'm just putting all my, can't really see it. I'll just show you in the light. Um, Chris did a tile in the class and we learned a lot of her techniques. Um, and so that's what I see. This is a piece that I did last year based on Chris's class I just did it on a glass tile a glass piece of an ornament and she embedded these gems in the clay and then just looped clay around it and this technique was especially cool so I kind of based on these techniques I did these votives now this one I don't know why I did black um, not thrilled with the black at all uh, and I used gray or silver, I should say, and or I think you know what I think this is actually um, white gold glitter, if I'm going to be exact, and white pearl, 
and the pearl just the white pearl just comes up looking dirty and dingy and I don't know I this just oh and I also used um, jewelry findings so I put some flower um, these would be uh, considered and oh, I'm sorry bead caps and I added leaves to those I did embed a gem in here it's a clear glass gem and I wrapped clay around it you can see that uh, but it didn't give the effect that it did on the um, flat pieces that I did but these are all the techniques that she taught us so just on the on the silver jewelry pieces I just did I just wrapped clay around it and um, basically just did whatever and I did texture the background somewhat but not a ton and I mean it is what it is I, I don't love it because there, I think I like color and I have no clue why I picked black I think I just had a lot of black <laughs> clay so then I made this one and this one is the bigger one this is in comparison probably five or six inches tall let's see one two three yes yeah, six inches five and a half and this is basically like four four and a half so about an inch taller and this one I really did based on her class so I swirled the clay to do the background she did that in her class or she actually she did it like three colors I think um, but this was what I did in a different polymer clay class. I've been doing this on, on my some of my stuff anyway. Um, and I used different um, textures. I definitely used my word stamp, um, letters, um, swirls, hearts. Matt, close that back door so right. Kiwi can't hear me because she just starts cheaping because she hears me. And um, so that I like better. It's just, it, it's what, I don't know. Sometimes my imagination takes me in the wrong direction. So if I follow a set, you know, procedure, it's better. And then I cut, oh, on this one, I cut random, random holes in the clay and also different shapes. It was just too much. This one I did all circles and just different shape circles. And I kept them in a flow like I didn't put them just willy-nilly also I didn't embed any of the gems on here I decided to do that technique but I just kept it flat like I just covered so this was a hole I cut a big hole and then I just filled it in with clay and cut other holes in it and that kind of when you're texturizing it distorts and everything but this is one of Chris's techniques um, so all of this is basically based on her class that I took, her techniques. Um, and then I just, after I did my main things, like the main kind of things I wanted to do, like I like this side, this looks cool. Um, right here, this big hole, you know. I also antiqued this with uh, burnt umber. I didn't use the black, which she uses black a lot. Um, it just the white just turns out so dark I don't like that it's not like crisp uh, and I did come back and hit it with um, my mica powders and stuff and I also put a little glossy accents on certain things too I put a lip on it I ended up like I just cut a piece of clay and put a lip around the top of this one too which I didn't do on this one so it just looks a lot more finished I think and I'll tell you what, it took me like two days. It's a lot, a lot of work. Um, but this one just came together better. And then after all my main things were done, I just went around and just added like dots of clay to fill in and kind of pulled it all together. Sometimes the circles just looked kind of lonely without anything there. So I would, I would just go and put a little something on each circle so that it wasn't just sitting there all by itself um, and that's it this got kind of squished over here but it actually turned out okay I started cutting anyway um, but yeah so I think it gets better the more you do it 
these swirls are not easy the way she does them. She leaves them thick at the top so that you can squish them down and it makes that kind of effect like that, which I love, but it, it takes practice. It's not, it doesn't just happen. The same thing with these like comma, I call them comma strokes. Um, yeah, these. And I didn't go down real thin at the bottom, so I just cut it. So I wing it and just make it, you know, into what, but it's, this is pretty cool. Like I would say this is, this isn't bad. It's not, I antiqued it again though. So it's, so what you could see the texturizing in the back. And I mean, that's what, see, this doesn't look like I antiqued it. I don't remember. I might not have, but yeah, but you can see lines in the, I must have. But I probably pulled a lot of it off. Anyway, um, so that's what I've been up to. Yesterday we painted the porch. Well, we painted all the railings and everything. So that's going to look so good this year. So a lot of springtime stuff is going on right now. Like I should actually go out and do some weeding before we put the mulch down. Um, but I've been doing clay. Let me think. Have I done anything else? Um... I think that's it. I have, oh, and I'm try, still trying to finish my mixed media morsels. Still haven't finished that. Um, so, all right, you guys, uh, that's about it. And thanks for watching.